Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't done it already, please click the subscribe button. Follow me across all my social media platforms to try to get to 1k subs by the end of the year. Okay, inshallah, inshallah, we're going to get there um, by the grace of God, okay? Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Frank Rondon, an interview with Second Out. Now, this interview was like this spicy. This was interviewed, basically filled in the gaps and started throwing a bit of shade at the situation between AJ and Fury. Okay, now, just to recap, last week the fight was supposed to take place between him and Deontay, um, between AJ and Tyson Fury. However, what happened was that there was an arbitration that took place and Deontay Wilder won that arbitration and therefore um, the fight was ordered between Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. Two days later, conveniently, the Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder fight was signed, so they delivered. They had a date, they had a venue, um, and they had all of the logistics all signed, so they delivered within the next, what, 72 hours, which was in the boxing world. Let me tell you something, yeah? For a, a fight on the undercard, for let's just say um, a fighter that's starting off the show or entering the show, yeah? It would take them, on average, a lot longer than 72 hours to pencil in an opponent, a fight, a vet, like all of that kind of stuff, to basically put them on the, on the card. It would take a, a little bit longer than 72 hours. You're the big heavyweight, yeah? The pay-per-view doms. You're telling me this takes 72 hours to make. Bro, let me tell you something. It's like going to Nando's, yeah? Ordering some food. And if guys, if you're not from the UK, Nando's is like... um in America, I don't know how, you, you guys all do pray pray chicken out there, I, I don't think you guys do, but it's like basically getting a barbecue out there in the States, yeah, you go there, you order a barbecue or a steak, let's just say a steak, universally, everyone knows that, yeah, you go, you order a steak, boom, comes out two and a half minutes later, or five minutes later, you're probably thinking, hold on a minute fam, hold on a minute, yeah, a steak doesn't take that quick to make, yeah, they they cook this year. This is the moment where if you watch the cooking shows, the early morning cooking shows on live breakfast TV or live lunchtime TV. Listen, my life is peak at times, yeah. But this is where you ought, like you go on that channel and this is the way they say, here's one I made earlier. This is what they've done, yeah. This is what this is exactly what they've done. They've done that, here's one I did here's what the one I made earlier. They take that out and they put it in fam. Do you, you think these men got time, yeah, in the morning to make a full meal, fam, yeah? A couple of shows do in the UK, but most of them don't, fam, yeah? You think, really? Come on, fam, yeah? This is what happened, <laughs> yeah? I'll, I'll go in for the food and energy, yeah? I already ate, so I'm not hungry, fam, but it's what it is, yeah? If those of you guys who are starving, please seek sanctuary. Um, nevertheless, let's get straight into this. Boom. Um, with the Tyson Fury um, and the and Deontay Wilder fight, the reason why it was sped up so fast, put it that way, was because they had a few things already pre-agreed. Now, cast our minds back, okay? Back in January, they all sat down. And this is exactly what he says. This is Frank Warren, yeah? The pessimist, yeah? This is what he says. And I'm going to say, if, if, if a pessimist is agreeing with an optimist, it's tend to be the truth. Cool, yeah? Frank Warren and the crew, yeah? Ordering the gang... Mystery Machine, you don't know, all met up at, on January and it also we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, um, do a little, not a diary, but a, a little um, goal to tell you, a little plan to execute the undisputed fight. Boom. Eddie, you do this. Us, man, we do. Us, man, we just sit there. We watch it. Cool. Say no more, yeah. Afterwards, um, Eddie Hearns going around. Um, trying to finalize the deal in a nutshell trying to like get this deal over the line and the agreement put in place before they go to a site fee in a nutshell but what they did is they they probably were like this well how, how much would you do for the rematch how much would you how much um percentage would we have for the um for the first fight um what's the split going to be what network is it going to be on is it who, like all of the little terms and conditions okay um how much of the percentage of the of the revenue for that for that card are we going to take and how much would it go to the would it go to the undercard fighters 
how much for the management fees, their promoters fees, etc. All of that will be negotiated, in, you know, in the process. How, what kind of platform is it going to be on? Is it going to zone? Is it going to be on a pay-per-view platform stream? A lot of little variables, put it that way. A lot of little variables will be negotiated. Is it going to be AJ versus Fury or Fury versus AJ? Who's going to ring walk out first? How are we going to do this? Blah, 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 blah. Cool. Say no more. The fight is negotiated right down to the white. All, all terms are agreed. Like what I think is about from, from the day's date, which is around the 25th of May. It was agreed about 30 days ago. So I think it was at the end of April. Wait, no, the middle of April was where everything was agreed. Terms, conditions, all of that were all agreed, yeah? Now they just had to find a house, yeah? Imagine, they bought all of the furniture, now they just got to find a place to move the furniture in. That's all they needed to do. Eddie Hearn called, literally, this is, what, <laughs> this is what they're saying, yeah? This is what they done. They said, all right, cool, say no more, yeah? All right, Eddie, you do your thing, yeah? We just watch you get the deal because... They're your boys. Yeah. You chat to your boys and come back to us, man. In layman's terms. Eddie Hearn goes chat to them. Sweet as a deal. Yeah. Uh, RG for RG, blah, 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 blah. Apples and pears. Yeah. Sweet as a deal with them. Come back. Come back, Um, you know, with a deal on the table. 150 million. Boom. You're done now. This is the deal. This is what's, got, this is what's going on, yeah. 150 million right there on the spot. Cool. Eddie Hearn says, yes, this is sick. Like yeah, I'm the man. You don't like I'm, I'm like everyone's got to believe in me. Cool, be positive. Then man, in this whole period of time, yeah, between middle of April up until the twenty fifth of May, which is today, they've just been pessimistic. It's really, to be honest, they've been pessimistic for quite some time. Oh, the fight's not going on. Cool, the fight's not happening. Oh, like um, the we've not re agreed to anything yet. We've not signed an agreement. They've not found a site, site deal. You know when they sign an agreement and they haven't found a site deal yet? Oh, we haven't found a site deal. Oh, it's a COVID environment. We're not going to revenue as much as we possibly would have liked. How, like, it's not going to be a full, like, audience of fans. Yeah, it's not. It's going to be half of the fans. Are like, not even half. It's going to be, what, 20, 20,000 people. And AG usually sells at a 90k stadium. You know what I mean? There? So it's not, it's not going to be as fruitful as it once was back when it wasn't in a COVID environment. Cool. Say no more. Afterwards, Ed, Eddie Han, you know, done the best way he can with the cards he was dealt. I'm going to give Eddie Han a bit of a problem, a, a bit of a stick later on when I touch up on these man corn, yeah? He's going to catch a few straight bullets at, at the same time. But ultimately, he was in the right in this scenario. I can't really stick it on him too much. But Frank Warren and them man corn, they turned around and they said, um, in this period of time, like, um, we're, we're now everything's all agreed, everything's all signed, we've got a date, we've got a venue, cool. Now we can't agree with a, uh, now it's the escrow account, cool. Escrow account problems, yeah. Imagine I say to you, yeah, bearing in mind that the, the, the people that I've already dealt with before have already been legit, they, the fighters all have been paid already before, they've got, there's no problems yet, yeah? they built a brand new fresh stadium and these Saudis are on drop yeah we all know this family yeah? we don't we don't need like uh, rocket science for us to tell that these men are not like they're not going to scam me fam Frank Warren, man, uh, Frank Warren and Tyson Fury said ah oh, fam listen yeah I'm a bit skeptical cool I want to make sure that there's proof of funds I want to make sure that the money is in the escrow account I want to see the numbers or like like I want to see the numbers in the bank account on a statement cool say no more yeah that's a bit long fam because to be honest with you we all know everyone knows yeah that these men are on job you don't need all of this kafafo but you want more information and you want more assurances say no more Eddie Hearn does that comes back to the negotiated table blah 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 like a couple of little uh, uh, um, dotting the eyes across in the T's everything's was, everything's basically within 48 hours of being signed off providing they just waited for the arbitration because they didn't know how like how big of an impact it's going to be they were, they were waiting on the arbitration um and they said you know what you know whilst we're here we might as well just wait for the arbitration you know it's on monday you know if everything goes all well 
let's just say worst comes to worst worst case scenario you have to pay damages to wilder you know you could figure that out on tuesday and sign the agreement on wednesday and then everybody will announce it on wednesday yeah last week wednesday which is the 20th of may 20th of may so or not the 20th of may but last week was the 18th of may um or, or 17th of may so 17th of may you sign the uh, um the arbitration takes place 18th of may you know you're just tying up those ends with the wilder team and making sure that they're all sweet you know making sure that you pay all the damages and the compensation and then once it gets to the final day uh, which is on the wednesday everyone's all going to be signing the agreement and that fight will be announced now beep hit the fan yeah the arbitration comes back in, in, in favour of Wilder, oh cool, these men are like, oh yeah, yeah, damages, damages, this, oh, it's card fun, yeah, was it, was it two million, three million, it's, it's four million, yeah, four million, I seen all the thing. Fam, these men want 20 million, but these men said, oh, okay, if you don't get me 20 million um, uh, US dollars, you have to fight Deontay Wilder no later than September the 15th, yeah, or you have to agree a settlement fee between him. Without, <laughs> without even trying, they said, "Okay, we'll fight him." They didn't even, they didn't even want to know how much you you wanted. Yeah, the guy could have, the guy, um, the numbers that was floating around was twenty million pounds or twenty million US dollars, or let's just say twenty million pounds. Okay, this is, we don't know, we don't, we're, come on, we're not currency converters here. Yeah, twenty million pounds, cool. Deontay Wilder, if that's what you want, they could have negotiated a fee down to about ten. Um, Fifty, uh, probably f ten to fifteen million pounds. They got to negotiate, maybe twelve million pounds. Cool. Tyson Fury could have sued Deontay Wilder for defamation of character. Probably would have got five million out from them if if he had a good lawyer. He would have got five million out from them. Cool. That would have made it up to seven million pounds. He could have went to the bloody Saudis, yeah, who were offering 150, 150 million pounds. What I say, fam, one hundred and fifty million pounds, yeah. For the fight, they were, uh, and they could do the site feel that was going to come up. They could have just asked them for seven million pounds, fam. Come, like, like, pat on the thing, fam. And, and the Saudis, yeah, even though they would have been pissed off, yeah, they probably would have had arguments. They probably, they probably would have said, go, go, you know, get out of here, man. They probably would have said, do one, yeah. They didn't even try. It's documented. They didn't even try. And Frank Warren, in the interview he done today, he confirmed this. He said, ah, oh, the Wilder team doesn't want step aside. They're not open for step aside. Fam, I, I don't, I, I think these, these men are like, in terms of business, yeah, I, I think, honestly speaking, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm shell shocked how far they've become. How, like, literally, I am shell shocked how far they've become. I, I, I'm sure they were not always like this back in the day. Surely not. Because this is a bit mind-boggling. If somebody, if you've got, like, let's just say, you need to get rid of a problem, and that problem had, had costs money to, 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 to get rid of. Cool. Instead of, that's an obstacle, right? Instead of just accepting an obstacle at the first hurdle, you need to, like, kind of do what you can to get that figure as low as you possibly can and figure out ways to finance it these men know these men have got like a, an internal black book of billionaires right off the back i think frank frank warren's got access to um the, to do interviews on good morning britain on itv yeah with tyson fury he then has access to go on itv um on itv and do a documentary on tyson fury cool He's got access to Tyson Fury to go out to the States. He's got access to Tyson Fury to do WWE. He's got access to Tyson Fury. Like, he's, bro, this guy knows, the guy knows a bag of people. Like, let's not get it twisted, fam. He knows billionaires. I'm going to tell you straight. He knows billionaires. Not even millionaires. He knows bill, billionaires. So, to be honest, £7 million from um, Queensbury or, or Frank Foreign Promotions. I ain't going to lie. They could just say, cool. Seven million pounds. They can borrow that money from a bank. They, if they, if they don't know any dons, they can borrow money from a bank and then pay that money back. Literally, they could have did that. They could have did that. Swear to God, these plans didn't even bother. <laughs> they didn't even try. Afterwards, yeah, 
this is where it gets a bit this is where it gets a bit sketchy yeah they just said all right cool we'll, we'll go for the wilder fight 72 hours later the fights are really signed everyone was like hold on a minute fam. hold on a minute it's one thing like but bearing in mind at the time of the arbitration people were like d-dot did even want it anyway and then there's another thing seven, signing the deal 72 hours later now frank warren as you would do yeah, Eddie Hearn, in, in, to be fair, said this stinks. But Frank Warren then turned around and said, look, Eddie, like Tyson Fury during this period of time or when it, when they was negotiating, was pissed off. Yeah? He said, look, if these lot are not serious, I'll then fight well, they're cool. These men, you know what they did? They already had a contingency plan. You know what else? You know what else? <laughs> this is mad. You know what else they were saying to Eddie? TikTok, hurry up. Yeah, we ain't got all day. I don't know if it's going to happen. Covid environment, you know, like we're not revenue as much uh, as you would do. You know, it, mandatory position, arbitration. You know, they, they were, th th whilst they were making excuses, yeah, they were s like negotiating a site fee for the Wilder and Fury fight. At the exact same time, they were telling Eddie to hurry up and chop, chop. Oh my God, man. Hey, bruv, hold on a minute, hold on, hold on a minute. I can't reload that bar, I can't reload it, reload it, fam, reload it, yeah? At the same time that they were telling Eddie, chop, chop, hurry up, time's ticking, tick, tock, tick, tock, their man will go into another uh, a, a, a place and negotiating a site deal and a date for the Wilder Fury trilogy. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. You know how mad that is? Frank Warren even said that. They, 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 they said, this is what they call it, a contingency plan. To be honest with you, if you're setting up, uh, if, if you're setting up a plan B, if plan A didn't even, he didn't even get started, yeah? That's a bit, it shows the lack of, a lack of commitment. Moreover, might, by the way, when Eddie Hearn was um, trying to get the fight over the line and you're shading negativity on that situation, it doesn't seem as though you look like you wanted to fight, but I'm gonna be straight up. This is this is exactly how it looks like because you already plan an exit strategy. <laughs> you know, you plan an exit strategy. Yeah, you basically had an underground. You basically had an underground bunker. If things turn left, you didn't even go full throttle on plan A. You let it fester. And you let plan if they went full throttle on a plan A and it flopped, cool, I could accept that. But they didn't even try. They didn't even try because they didn't even look like they wanted it. And you know what? It sounds like this was all under the instruction and influence of Tyson Fury. So now I've got reason to believe Tyson Fury has ducked AJ Cool. Or, or at least doing he's got an exit strategy himself. Let me tell you what his exit strategy is. Yeah, he wants two fights to end his career. He wants a what? He, he or two or three fights to end his career. Let's just say he wants three fights instead of him fighting AJ in the COVID environment, and then AJ at Wembley. Yeah, what he's done in a nutshell is he's basically had Wilder under a COVID environment drum up the interest for Anthony Joshua. You know, get that get the juices flowing for that because he knows he could beat them. Cool. And then AJ at Saudi Arabia in the winter time, where it's all nice and cold, twenty one degrees back the back in the winter, nice and chilled at the middle of the night time, and you could generate more revenue during the winter time. And then AJ next year in maybe summer holidays or maybe in, in spring break at Wembley Stadium in front of a packed crowd. Yeah, that was the plan all along. It all makes sense. And let me tell you something. All of this was orchestrated and administrated and executed by the big man himself. The guy who doesn't speak. His name is Al Heyman. Yeah? Let me tell you something. This guy, <laughs> this guy is the queen on a chessboard. Yeah? He's making all the moves, fam. Back, left, forward, bruv, everything. How do you think, first and foremost, yeah? 
This guy negotiated a two fight deal for a rematch and a trilogy. Moreover, Deontay Wilder, to be fair, should not even have held the WBC because he didn't fulfill his mandatories after, I think he fulfilled his one mandatory, like five, to one or two mandatories in like five or six years, which is which is absurd, which is, which is abnormal for a guy who holds one belt. If you hold multiple belts, acceptable for one belt holder, crazy, cool. Tyson Fu, uh, um, um, Deontay Wilder, Deontay Wilder decided, yeah, that he wanted to block Dillian White from fighting himself. And this is what happened. He told he he basically froze him out and the WBC ordered a fight between him and Dominic Brazil. Put it this way, the WBC have a ranking system. Number one is supposed to be mandatory, and that's how it's supposed to go. Dillian White was number one, and at that point, number one for about three, four hundred days. Dominic Brazil was number four ranked. They ordered the number four rank to order number to order the champion because Deontay Wilder didn't even want to fight uh, Dillian White and a bit of influence behind the scenes and lo and behold, man, she's already been fulfilled. Cool. Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury, the first fight. Deontay Wilder got on, on, on point, he got beaten nicely. But the scorecards, there was a one scorecard in particular that had it, one, like literally, I think it was 116-111 to Tyson, uh, to, De to Deontay Wilder. Which is absolutely absurd. One had it a draw, one had it a of fury, and they scored it a draw that night. That fight should not even have been anywhere near a draw. It was like for most boxing fans, even the hardcore Deontay Wilder fans, if you were to like point the score, they would all accept the idea of Tyson Fury winning that fight. Cool. Second fight comes. The referee is doing the most. Let me say something. The amount of leeway the referee was giving Deontay Wilder was 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 <sighs> mind boggling, fam. Yeah, it's mind boggling. Cool. Next, you've got the arbitration case. Now, all of a sudden, yeah, the like bearing in mind Eddie Hearn with the zone and his influx in the U.S. probably probably peed off a lot of people higher up. Yeah, the arbitration takes place. I'm uh, like. You've got arbitration between Frank Warren, Bob Arum, and um, MTK Global, and Al Heyman and them, man. And how, like, and based on just sheer evidence, Al Heyman wins the arbitration. Put, uh, like, that is a bit odd. And from what I'm hearing, allegedly, I could be wrong, the guy who um, ordered the fight went to Harvard University. Guess who else went to Harvard University? Yeah? Now all of this is all alleged. I could be 100% mistaken and 100% wrong. But let me tell you something, yeah? <laughs> if things go your way too many times, something's fishy, fam. But nevertheless, hopefully we get a huge fight between these guys towards the end of the year. Hopefully, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just being hopeful. I'm hopeful, listening, hopeful for today. This music and you Listen, you know what I'm saying, yeah? Thank you very much for tuning into this video. Peace, love, and prosperity. Guys, you got to subscribe as well, yeah? Peace, love, and prosperity. And I'm going to catch you guys in a bit. Peace.